so great to hear that. Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Malone. As you can hear, fans are fired up as the U.S. men's national soccer team has stormed into the knockout stage of the World Cup after a thrilling win against geopolitical rival Iran. And Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live near Tel Aviv with reaction to the showdown between bitter rivals. Good morning, Ooh. Daniel. Yeah, good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. One goal, a first half strike from Captain America, Christian Pulisic, sealed a nail-biting win to advance the U.S. to the knockout stage for the first time since 2014. The last time these two teams met in the World Cup 24 years ago was considered one of the most politically charged in soccer history. Tuesday night's match in Qatar likely eclipsed it. We won, won today, we won. From Qatar USA. to Los Angeles. American soccer fans are celebrating the USA's hard-fought victory over Iran. Christian Pulisic's goal in the 38th minute proved enough for the U.S. to advance at the expense of their geopolitical rivals. I thought we were the better team. The injury to Pulisic, you know, dealt a blow to us, but, you know, we, we got the right guys on the bench. Pulisic didn't play at all in the second half after an abdominal injury when he collided with the Iranian keeper. Knowing only a win would keep them in the tournament, the Americans pressed with high intensity from the first whistle. Should have been a three nil, but you know what? The result was good enough, but let's see if it's good enough for the next round. But I'm just, right now, I'm still shaking. You know, it was just a nervous wreck. Midfield star Yunus Musa, who celebrated his 20th birthday Tuesday, says he was thrilled when the U.S. scored. Seeing that goal, go, that first goal go in, it was like, okay, um, you know, we've done... We've done one of the hardest things, you know, to beat them, um, the, the defense and score and put, put ourselves in a position to go through. The buildup to Tuesday's match was overshadowed by more than four decades of sour relations and civil unrest that's gripped the Islamic Republic since mass human rights protests erupted in September. Iran's players stayed silent during the national anthem in their opening match against England, but sang before their victory over Wales and again on Tuesday. Knowing massive crowds would be watching in Tehran, the Iranian regime reportedly threatened to arrest and torture the families of the Iranian team if they failed to behave. For American fans, the game may have been too close for comfort, but... We made it. We're going to the next round. We're going to move forward and hopefully get that World Cup in the USA for the first time. The U.S. advances to take on Netherlands Saturday, and from here on out, it's win or go home. Kickoff is at 10 a.m. Eastern time. A quick update on Captain America, Christian Pulisic. He was actually taken to the hospital last night for evaluation. He's been diagnosed, Allison, with a pelvic contusion, and his status is listed as day-to-day. -day. Not mm -hmm. sure if he's going to play on Saturday, but my goodness, my fingernails are gone. How I about know. you? Did you watch <laughs> yeah, the game last night? I did. It, it was a great game, and I know my family, yeah. we're going to be watching it Saturday. I'm so excited to, to watch it. Daniel, thank you so much. Great to see you all. Same. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.